Hi everyone, I'm Polly. In this video I'd like to show you how to knit the ear flaps for your hat. If you want to knit this hat with me, I'll leave you the link for the video on my channel. For the ear flaps we should make very very easy calculations. We need to know how many stitches do you have in your head? My head have 100 stitches. Then we should divide the number of stitches into 5 parts. 100 divide 5. We have 20 stitches in one part. One part, 20 stitches. It's our back, back part of the head. Then 20 stitches is our ear flap. Again 20 stitches, another ear flap. And then 40 stitches. 20 plus 20, it's our front side, 40 stitches for the front side, 20 stitches for one flap, 20 for another flap, we have 80 stitches, plus 20 stitches of our back side, we have totally 100 stitches. I was happy to have 100 stitches. If you have, for example, 100 one stitch. What should you do? This one stitch, I recommend you to mm, give to your front side. If you have 102 stitches, what should you do? I also recommend you to give these two stitches for the front side. Or you can give these two stitches to your ear flaps. One stitch for the left ear flap, one stitch for the right ear flap. And if you have, for example, 103, 103 stitches, what should you do in this case? In this case, I can recommend you to um, give one stitch for the front side and two stitches for the flaps these three stitches or if you have 104 stitches it's very easy you will give these stitches two for the front and two for the flaps it's better to leave the back side uh, as it is Maybe you have other numbers, I mean 101, 102, if you have 1 or 2 or 3 or 4 stitches more, uh, then uh, you can divide it into 5 parts. These are our calculations and I will use them. I will use this for make uh, my ear flaps. Here I marked the stitch where we started our rock. Now this is the middle of the back side. On the left and on the right of the middle of the back side I will count 10 stitches because our back side is 20 stitches. So. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Here I finished and I'm putting the stitch marker. And the same thing on the right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And the stitch marker here.
So our strings will start from here and another one from here. As our strings are large 20 stitches, I'm going to make our strings here. I should insert the needle, pick up the yarn and make my stitches. From this part it's very easy to do. You will just find your stitch and count 20 stitches. From this side it's a little bit different. Why? Because this stitch marker is on our left and we need from the right side to the left side. So I replace this stitch marker near here. We'll see it better. And I'm going to count 20 from this stitch marker. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. This is the stitch of the beginning of our string. This is. I'm taking my yarn and putting it on the on the finger. And I'm starting to knit. I'm going to make purl stitches. One. Here another stitch, two, here another stitch, three, then four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. 20 stitches. I started to make my stitches from a purl stitch and I finished with a knit stitch. It should be like this because we have a rib of uh, one by one. Yes. Now I'm turning my head and I'm starting to knit the first uh, stitch I don't need the second stitch I need with pearl stitch Pearl stitch, pearl stitch, all the pearl stitches, but not stitch the last uh, two stitches.
I have my last two stitches. This stitch I don't knit. I just pick it up with my right needle. And the last one I work I knit with a pearl stitch. In this mode we will have a nice border. Turn my work. The first stitch I don't need. The second stitch I need with a knit stitch and all other stitches I will knit with a knit stitch. The last two stitches I will show you how will I knit them. I have my last two stitches. This stitch I'm picking up with the right needle and I don't need it. The last stitch I need with a pearl stitch. Turn the head. The first stitch I don't need. The second stitch I need with a pearl stitch and all other stitches with a pearl stitch. This stitch I'm picking with the needle without knitted knitting. The last one pearl stitch. Now I'm going to decrease my stitches. The first stitch I don't need. The second one I need with a knit stitch. The next two stitches I will knit together with a knit stitch. I'm inserting my needle. Check that your stitches are not twisted. And I work a stitch a knit stitch. Now I continue to knit till I have four stitches on my needle. I have four stitches on my needle. Now I passing two stitches on my right needle and twisting my uh, stitches. Maybe you should not twist here the stitches, but you should twist them at the beginning. It depends on your mode of knitting. Now I am working a knit stitch with two of these stitches. Then again, the, this stitch I don't knit. And the last one, a pearl stitch. This row I don't need the first stitch, the second stitch I need with a pearl stitch and all the other stitches I will need with a pearl stitch and uh, I will show you the last two stitches. This stitch I'll just pass on my right needle without knitting and the last one I knit. And here again I will knit two stitch together. The first one I don't knit. The second one I knit with a knit stitch. Then 
two stitches I'm going to knit together with a knit stitch and all other stitches I will knit with a knit stitch till I have four stitches on my needle one two three four now I'm twisting my stitches and I'm knitting two stitches together with a knit stitch this stitch I don't knit just pass it on my right needle and the last one a pearl stitch I'm turning my work the first stitch I don't knit the second one I will knit with a pearl stitch all the other stitches pearl stitch till I have two stitches on my needle as you can see all the rounds all the rows from our wrong side we knit in the same mode so the first we don't need all other stitches pearl stitches this the second stitch just pass on the right needle without knitting and the last one is a pearl stitch turn my work the first I don't knit the second knit with a knit stitch and next the next two stitches I'm going to knit together with a knit stitch all the stitches knit stitch till I have four stitches on my needle no just I have four stitches on my needle I'm changing the position of my last two stitches and I'm knitting these two stitches together with a knit stitch this stitch I don't knit just pass it to my right needle and the last one every time purl stitch turn I think uh, everything is clear now but I will knit it till the end with you the first stitch I don't knit the second one I knit with a pearl stitch then pearl stitch till the last two stitches this one I don't knit and the last one pearl stitch I'm now at my right side the first one I don't knit the second knit stitch the next two stitches pearl stitch together and the knit stitches till I have four stitches on my needle I'm changing the position of my two stitches I'm knitting them together with a knit stitch this stitch I don't knit the last one pearl stitch the the row from the wrong side is every time the same the first stitch I don't knit this stitch I don't knit the last one pearl stitch
the first one I don't need, the second purl stitch, the next two stitches I'm knitting together, and then all knit stitches till I have four stitches on the needle. I'm changing position of my two stitches and I am working them together with a knit stitch. This stitch I don't need and the last one purl stitch every time. From our wrong side is the same, the first I don't need, the second purl stitch. All the other stitches purl stitches. This stitch I don't need, the last one, curl stitch. We are getting at the end. The first one don't, don't need, the second one need stitch. The next two stitches I'm knitting together, then knit stitches till I have four stitches on my needle. I'm twisting them. And I'm working and it stitch with these two stitches. This stitch I don't need, the last one, the pearl stitch. Turn my head. The first stitch I don't need, the second one I need with a um, pearl stitch. Other stitches. I'm knitting with a purl stitch. This one I don't knit. The last one and purl stitch. Again, don't knit the first stitch. The second one is knit stitch. The next two stitches together with a purl, with a knit stitch. Then, ah, then that's all. I should only twist these two stitches and make a knit stitch this I don't knit the last one purl stitch now I have one two three four five six stitches the first don't need, the second one purl stitch, purl stitch, purl stitch, don't need, purl stitch. Now here I have six stitches on my needle. The first I don't need. The next two stitches I'm going to need with the knit stitch. These two stitches I will knit with a knit stitch, but first I will twist them. And these two stitches I am knitting with a knit stitch. The last one, purl stitch. Now we have only four stitches here. I'm turning my work. Look. If you want, you can make an uh, eye cord with uh, four stitches. I want to make the eye cord with three stitches. So, I'm, I'm making my row as usual, the first I don't need, the next one purl stitch, this I will need with a purl stitch, and the last one purl stitch. 
this row uh, only the first one I didn't knit in all the other stitches I knitted with a purl stitch I will knit let me see the first two stitches together and the last two stitches this I will twist and also the last two stitches I will knit together and I now I'm going to make my eye corder with only two stitches because my yarn is very thick and it's cotton yarn it's not very flexible so my knit uh, my yarn is here from this side I'm pushing my needle and I'm working my knit stitches I have only two stitches I will knit them with the knit stitches again I'm pushing my needle and I'm making my knit stitches an eye cord you can knit with two stitches three stitches four or even five stitches if you have very thin yarn my yarn is too thick to make it with uh, three stitches This is my eye cord with two stitches. Now it's okay for me. I like it. And I will go to make it longer. I will tell you how long will I make it. I am over with my string. The length of my string is 30 centimeters. Look how does it look like? Very nice. Our beginning is here. It's perfect for the kids' ears. Looks like very nice. Now I'm just cutting the yarn. I leave a tail of 15 centimeters. Then with a needle, you can take a sewing needle or a hook. I'm just inserting the needle. I have inserted the needle. Now I have two needles together. I'm picking up the yarn and I'm making a knit stitch. And I'm pulling the yarn out. I fixed my eye cord. You can pull a little bit the stitches, tighten the stitches. That is, this is our end. You can hide this end inside the eye cord. It's very, very easy. And uh, another stripe from the other part. You, I'm going to make in the same mode. I will only show you how will I start and then you can continue using uh, my video for this so here 
is our middle of the back side of the head. Here I've counted 10 stitches. So from this stitch, yes, this one, I'm going to pick up my stitches, to make my stitches. I'm taking <clears throat> my yarn, putting it on the finger, and I'm going to count one stitch, two stitches, three stitches, Four stitches, five stitches, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20 stitches. And now the same mode. Turn the brook and start to knit as here.